Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Here, same old story. What about you? Doing very well. I'm happy because I reached today my goal of 100%. And I will uh, uh, be... I'm I'm happy because I requested to take next week as a vacation day. Some days are missing to complete my period for last year. And so I'm happy because now I'm going in peace <laughs> uh, to take those days. I will be here. I'm not going out anywhere, but because there is a lot of things to do here at home cleaning because uh, remember that they are still working and I hope I hope Saturday will be the last day for all the repairs the men are making all these days mm -hmm. so uh, I'm happy Let's because I everything. accomplished my goal my revenue yeah goal. that's great news those are great news yes of course 
So um, I feel like relax. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, to know that you did it, it's, I mean, it, it lifts a, a big weight from your shoulders. Exactly, exactly. So, yes, and I will, I, I'm uh, uh, happy and also I'm relaxed that next week I, I can at least uh, rest my brain <laughs> for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so great, actually, because mm -hmm. I know you've been like stressed a lot because of it. Yes, yes, because this month uh, has been so hard, different situations we faced, but we have, we must overcome. So at least, this month I will be 100%, ah, then I'm going to rest and the next one will be, I'm going to fight to achieve that 150%. Yeah, that's great, that's great. I mean, step by step. Exactly. Exactly. And who knows, the month hasn't ended yet. Oh no, for me it will be tomorrow, the last day. And whatever I, I try to, I achieve tomorrow, I don't think will be the 150%. That means that I need to sell like around, let me see, $6,300. Mm, no, uh, I, I got faith, I uh, a positive person, but no, <laughs> I'm also realistic. Uh -huh. I don't think. Even though this will be an excellent sale, no. But who knows? Tomorrow is my last day working before I take a breath. I take a, a rest. Before I rest, I'm sorry. For next week. Well, let's hope everything goes okay next month. I mean, step by step, as I told you. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, I was checking out Fernando. He's stuck in traffic. Mm. And if it rained today, in San Salvador, come on, the traffic. Yeah, okay. most probably that's the reason. Mm -hmm. But it's raining. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, traffic gets crazy. Exactly. But what can we do? I mean, lovely weather, lovely country. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Na Claudia, nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. So happy Thank you me. did it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Who else is around? Uh, Ada, hello Ada, how are you? Perhaps not available. Let's see who else is around. Juan Carlos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story as usual. Oh, that's good. And if you hear, no, if you heard here, uh, like music is because. Uh, my father is having a party. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> and how is everything? Did you make to know. go to the gym today? Yeah, I could. I could make it. And yeah, but today was a heavy day because I had to work. Let's see, I was working chest, bicep, and tricep. 
Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a, a lot of uh, like exercise. I don't know how can how can I say the series? Yeah, a lot of series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, actually, I was making it short, just four series per muscle, four mm -hmm. exercises per muscle. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, due to that, I for chess I was not lifting what I usually do. I just was just list, lifting forty fives, mm -hmm. forty five per side, you no. Know? Yes. And the same for bicep. Uh, I mean, I lowered it down a little bit because it was gonna be long. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, wow, well, <laughs> biceps, triceps, and chest <laughs> is too much, even to me. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I gotta do. Oh, man. I don't remember what this is called. Oh, uh... trapezio. Yeah, trapezio. I tomorrow I got back, shoulder, and trapezio. Mm -hmm. That way on Monday I will work, Monday perhaps I will work just uh, legs. And when do you rest, teacher? Um, Wednesdays. Only Wednesdays? For, from the gym. Uh -huh. No, I rest Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. I just go to the gym uh, four days a week. Oh, mm-hmm. But Friday, tomorrow, uh, I mean, tomorrow I also work legs in the morning. Oh, got it. <laughs> so, because I mean, uh, my legs are like this. <laughs> It's my weakest point. Yes, mine too. <laughs> eh, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. I, I, I used to get busy when, when I'm doing <laughs> uh, legs or how do you say oh pantorillas era mm -hmm. calves how halves yes calves calves oh. mm -hmm. yeah I know I know yeah sometimes it it happens you get busy you get a little bit busy but it's cool I mean, it's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's your time to get uh, the stress out. Yeah. Or to relax. The stress out. <laughs> yeah, I unwind at that time. I mean, it's... But uh, still, it's a little bit heavy. Carlos, welcome. Nice Thank talking you. to you. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Ah, so far so good, teacher. I can, what? I can regret about anything. Okay. That's yeah. nice, that's a good attitude. Yeah, excellent. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so today is a, a little Friday. I don't know if, if in English is the same that in Spanish, a little Friday. A short. A short Friday. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oops. Any day is a good day for partying. Yeah, that's right, teacher. Well, when we just are single. When it, just when at the time. Yeah, that's, well, and the money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But thanks God, everything goes today. At, at my job, everything worked well. So then I have to draw. And, but was raining bad, that anything bad. And today, I just wait uh, until the class began. So, was really good. 
until until right now. So up to now, everything good. Until now, until now, everything good. No, up to now. Ah, I remember something right now. Yeah, uh, today I spoke with one Hindu, right? Oh, really? Yeah, and she shared with me one one uh, could be like a typical dish from India. Really? What was yeah, it? but I don't remember the name. Tree, but not look very well. Well, you know, they are good for a spicy food. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, and I like it. That's why uh, she uh, shared that that uh, that ingredients for that dish. But when I saw the picture about that uh, dish, so I... The picture was I, not very attractive for you. Yeah, yeah. The... The dish doesn't look like well. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah, that's right. But I, well, and I heard, I'm, I search, I search the the Hindi, the Hindia, because I, to be honest, I don't know how big is that country. But when I searched that uh, through the internet, I found that it's really big. It's really what? It's really big. India. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, that's right. So, and she told me that they have a lot of kind of weather on different areas. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so some well, areas are fine. so dry, pretty yeah. dry. Yeah, that's right. And she was um, she was impressive. We can we can say that. In what? She was uh, impressive. Impressive. Yeah, uh, you impressive. Can say impressive. We could say that impressive. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, she was impressive how short she is El Salvador because I I I come to her uh, about that so that we could go uh, through all El Salvador just in three hours. So she told me that maybe she has spent a lot of time uh, to our right to when she drive. Since he seen her home to the office, so home, she from spent, her home, uh -huh, from him, from her home to the office. So she has spent like forty. No, she has spent like one hour every single day, and she only have to draw like three kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, here in the Salvador, I mean, we live in a in a very, very short country. Yeah, that's right. But it's a really beautiful country, teacher. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, Jose Wilfredo, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Francisco, hello, Francisco. How are you? How's everything? Everything is good, teacher. Today is it was uh, a good day, I think, uh, because uh, I can uh, rest and the weather. Uh, is is cool. Oh, in that's the, nice. In the afternoon, uh, is uh, 
uh, it's a uh, was a uh, windy. Oh, really? Right, teacher. It's That's not nice. Uh, it's not common. <laughs> yeah, but, it is not. But uh, the 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 good thing is the is uh, a good a good weather for me. <laughs> Yeah, of course, you could rest. Right, teacher, right. <clears throat> Tomorrow, uh, I going to to work, but in the afternoon, the, sorry, in the morning shift. Tomorrow, uh, I wake up, I, I will. I will. Uh, very early. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine, but you know, that's part of the job, right? Right, it's your part of the job. There's no way out. Sorry, teacher? There's no way out. Right, teacher. <laughs> and you, teacher? Well, you know, a good day, I could say, a good day. I mean, could have been better, could have been worse, but well, average, let's say average. I mean, a lot of work, that's normal, and I had time to go to the gym, that's good. And now, well, here, enjoying this class, so it's okay, my day was okay. Thanks for asking. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey, guys, let me get the attendance, if you don't mind. Let's see. Ada, Susana, Cáceres, Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo, Sagas Comedias. Present, teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado García. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Aire Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, well, let's see who else is around. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine because today is my day off and I don't work. <laughs> okay, what did you do today? Um, in the morning, they say I saw my father and I took a breakfast in a pizza hut. And 
And then, uh, stay in the office, uh, I don't know, maybe one hour or like this. And return at noon. And then I stay in the house because I think that I'm raining and I have a lot of traffic and I need to visit uh, I don't know, uh, mi padrino. Oh, that's father? Oh my God, father, because I bought uh, some pills in Amazon for him and I received uh, the packet this week and I have a time to uh, carry or have uh, for hey, her. Thank you. Taking for her, for him his house and I stay a little bit time with uh, them and dog and stay here. And then return to my house because it's very near, maybe one kilometer. Uh, oh, that's uh -huh. very close. Uh huh, very close. And only that, and return to my house because the traffic in the uh, um, Comalapa, and when you. It gets uh, heavy. Uh huh, very heavy. And I prefer to stay in my house. And only that to stay here and pass the time and relax with the weather. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Thank you, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. Okay, you welcome. Let's see. Alejandro Alfredo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Fine, a little bit tired. Already a long day at work? Long day at work. And it seems like it hasn't ended yet. Yeah, it hasn't. That's for sure. You are very welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, happy to be in the class. That's nice, that's nice. Excellent. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. Sometimes days are like that. You feel like they never end. And some days are quite short. Yeah, but this week this week has been a little bit uh, busy. Uh, well, that's work, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes, man. Yeah, you know, the job sometimes is like that. Some weeks are pretty busy and you got a lot of stuff to do. And some others are like boring. Yeah. Right? It happens. But yeah, it happens. You are completely right. Hey, Alejandro, welcome. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Let's see. So, Eliana, how's tricks? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Great. Yes, how was ready your day? for the class. Mm, it's been great, teacher. A normal day. I had the presentation that I told you yesterday. Okay, how did it go? I think that went very well. Yeah, I I think that that people felt comfortable and and very inter interesting about the topic. Interest, interested. interest, interested about the topic, and you know we shared uh, perspectives, opinions about the sense of the responsibility and how we applied that that um, the responsibility in Value. people. Mm -hmm. That value in, in, in different areas of, of our lives, you know, and I think that went went well. Mm -hmm. But besides that, the day was like a normal day, same routine at the office. Yeah. 
not much to tell. No, not much, teacher. Okay, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, and but in the house is Friday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. Friday, well, plans for tomorrow. We are going to, to, we are going to, to dinner, to take dinner. Uh -huh. With my aunt, one of my oh. aunts. Yeah, she, really? yeah. Um, you're gonna visit her or you're going to take her somewhere else? Somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What does she like for dinner? What does mm. she usually like? She usually likes pupusas. But my siblings and I were uh, told her that not pupusas, not tomorrow. So I don't know yet um, the the place, but she she told me uh, a few minutes ago that we had a call that I'm going to tell you tomorrow. So let, let me just the day to think what I what I want to to eat for dinner. So I'll know okay. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So it's gonna be a surprise. Yeah, so a little surprise, yeah. But that's, cool. that's all my plans for tomorrow after work or okay. after office. Mm -hmm. Don't forget my class. Mm -hmm. No, never. <laughs> Actually, I told her told her that that we have to 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 see each other. I don't know to reunite, reunited. To get together. To get together uh, around maybe six and a half. Yeah, it gives you time. <clears throat> Early to, to be prepared for the class dinner. at eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. I mean. Well, the good thing is that you have the chance to enjoy and share with her. That's what really matters. Yeah. But that's all, teacher. Well, that's nice. You're better prepared than me. Let's see me tomorrow. Work, work. Well, exercise, work, work. Then exercise, then work. And, <laughs> and work. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's my day. So tomorrow is going to be like slow for me. Mm. Well. And the problem is that I am not sure if tomorrow is my time for cooking. You don't like cooking. I don't <clears throat> cook. <clears throat> In my house, when they tell that it's my turn cooking, what they want is me to, to order something. <laughs> Delivery. It's yeah. easier. And fast. No, that's whenever they say you cook, that means that they want to deliver. Because my son cooks and my wife does, but me, eh, eh, I don't cook. I hate. Well, it's the same as doing the dishes. That's something that I hate. It. I hate doing the dishes. I can do whatever else you want, but don't ask me to do the dishes. You don't like to do the dishes. I don't like neither. But you know, I have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't have to because I'm teaching at this time, so I'm not so <laughs> like I already did the dishes before the class. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Hey, Elena, nice <laughs> talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, today we are going to cut it short. This one-on-one -on -one conversations. I welcome all of you. Because today we're going to work in your manual again. And we got us uh, a couple of activities to do in the manual. Let's see. Yeah. I'm sorry. And we are going to start working with the first one. Okay. Let me share it with you. And here we go. Okay, this is the first exercise we are going to do. You have to number the following key actions to consider when dealing with a crisis in order of importance. One most important, five least important. Discuss your choices with a partner. 
So we got be accountable for your actions, assume responsibility, don't forget about social media, control the flow and accuracy of information, have legal advice and communication experts at hand, be honest, never lie in times of crisis, communicate with customers and suppliers. Okay. Just a little thing. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, what are you going to do? You're going to write, be accountable for your actions. What do you think? It's a lot of, it's very important. You write one. If you think that don't forget about social media is as well, very important, you write one. Okay. It's not like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's from one to five, how important you consider each aspect is, okay? That's what you're going to do. And you're going to be working in small groups. So let me get the groups created. Hey guys, groups are open. Hello. Nobody's talking here, I guess. They are just connected.
will be successful in your life, in your business, in all you things that you you do. And then, uh, in my opinion, be honest is the number two. You to to put a number two in the sentence. Be honest, never lie in times of crisis. Okay. Yes, I agree. Okay. Then we have um another one. Have legal advice and communication expert experts at hand. Mm -hmm. I think that this one is a number one most important. Number one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Have legal advice and communication experts at hand. What do you think, Jose? Yeah. You think is mm -hmm. most is one of the most important action actions? Yeah, I was checking that. So they have a, a legal advice and also I was thinking that they control the flow and accru I don't know. Uh, I don't know. For me, the second is at least. Because the other parameters are so important. The communication with customers and suppliers is. Uh -huh. Legal advice to and control the flow and accuracy of information is important. Uh, assume responsibility is so important too. So I think that don't forget about so social media is uh, the least important. Uh -huh. Really? But Maria Alejandra says that social media is the most important for her. No, teacher, I don't say this. Yeah, you told me that you are always checking everything on social media. <laughs> All my life is stay here. <laughs> but no. yeah, she, she wants to be creating content every day. <laughs> I have a lot of followers. Wow. Mm -hmm. On TikTok. <laughs> it's yeah. a joke. No. I like only to dancing see every the... day. <laughs> yes. My dream is feel to influencer in a social media. <laughs> you know, I only use uh, WhatsApp. That's the only one I use. Really, teacher, and Facebook. I don't have an account. For me, Facebook is important, but uh, if you have a business or an entrepreneurs, yeah, because you make content for your account and you can sell all your products that you that you have. Oh, when you are looking for uh, something, uh, uh, you found it in on Facebook. Yeah, you do. Uh -huh. Isn't that benefit or the advantage when you use a, a marketplace with a Facebook? Yeah, you... I, I don't like to, to public a picture of my family or my friends now. Uh, I use Facebook, but uh, when I need 
to buy something or when I uh, want to sell something. Uh -huh. Yes, I use for that when I say things or like this. I think it's a good idea because you don't need a page or web page for to buy or like uh-huh. <laughs> to make a silly a silly thing. I have TikTok. <laughs> no, I don't have TikTok and I don't uh, you can say about about social media. Oh, Roxana says that is the most important. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Roxana. Good evening. Oh, oh my God. Roxana is like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, she was oh. explaining us some the uh, when, when uh, for example, the insurance company don't cover situations. The companies. They need to handle those situations. No, she was explaining something very important. The insurance companies. Not uh, good for charging. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah. the first one was um, number one. N number one was most the most important. Be accountable for your actions, assume responsibility. Okay, yeah, very important. Get up on social media. That's, well, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, we, we, thought, we were discussing that it's not like uh, of such importance. But it depends on the situation. It could turn uh, more important. Depends. Yeah, depending depending on the situation. Yeah, right. Well, guys, it's almost time. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, well, I was listening to some of you and quite interested in your opinions. Uh, the, the rankings vary, okay? They are not the same because it depends uh, mostly on your opinions. And I mean, as they were saying, uh, some groups were telling me it depends on situations, actually. Because depending on the situation, perhaps uh, the social media can be important for a company or depending on the company also. So in this case, for that exercise, it varies. Now, for the following exercise, we are going to be working with something more, uh, a little bit bigger. 
Okay, we got us exercise seven. Remember, we are working in your manual in page number 29 in the ISAFOR manual, page 29, exercise seven. Okay. Assume your company was involved in the crisis below. Take turns responding this question. What would you have done as a manager? Number one, the satisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the products of the company. The video goes viral and customers are outraged. A new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flaw which makes its battery explode or catch fire while charging. Number three, one of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer. But social media is reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a consumer. A hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company facilities. Okay, you're faced with these four situations, guys, and you need to tell me, you need to respond to these questions. What would you have done as a manager? So that means we go back again to the rooms and let's talk about it. Hello. Hi. Hello, Roxana. How are you? I'm fine. Tired. I hear you like down. I'm tired this week. Is what? Or is very hard because continue. it's been. It's been, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Your area is kind of weird. I remember once you telling me that there's just you sometimes, right? Yes. Well, I have some busy days, really busy days, and I have others uh, very slow. Slow. Mm -hmm. But That's this week has been the, the busy one. Yes. And, 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 and closing is next, right? Yes. Yeah. In closing, I will be alone because my, my co-worker has a licencia, how do you say licencia? A leave. Uh, a leave, and she doesn't, she don't be with me. She doesn't. She won't, she won't. She won't uh, with me. Oh, really? On a full of day, yeah. Okay, so. Next week, I'm not going. I'm not talking to you. You're gonna be too stressed. Yes. You're gonna take my head off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'll let you work, guys. I just send the 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 image. Okay. Okay. Manipulate something like that. Manipul manipula. Oh, sir, what's it? Teacher, uh, I am talking with Danny in, in the first first sentence. There are many words, many new words for me. <laughs> Let's see, dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the products of the company. Okay, tampering. Tampering means, uh, yeah, manipulating, but doing something bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Another one? Or trace. And mm. then. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just uh, the transition. <laughs> yeah. 
indignados. Yeah, that's exactly the word. Or, Just that the pronunciation is outrage. 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 Out, outrage. Yeah. Outrage. Outrage. Well, um, the first thing I think um, we have to make, we have to um, communicate, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Um, the customers um, expect a position from the company, I think. Um, in the um, sensitive information, right? Mm -hmm. So the video goes viral and customers are outra outraged. All right. Maybe it's in this right. case, as a manager, maybe I, first of all, um, maybe, I don't know how to say this word, teacher, como aclaración, una aclaración? Clarifying. Clarifying with the customers about the video and try, like, the customers uh, be being... I don't know. So I think that that think. is like let me think, the let me think. Uh -huh, and clarify too. So clarify yeah. the situation with mm -hmm. the customers first, the customers. and and after that maybe talk with the employees. And uh, people's fire. <laughs> there. For me, for me, if it were me, I mean, well, uh, those employees are fired. They are out of the mm -hmm. company. Because remember, tampering means manipulating. People. No, but it means manipulating bad, doing uh, something bad to the product. Ah, uh, oh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, okay. It's not that, that they post a sensitive information, it's that, that they like manipulate information. So not in the good way, right? So like in the way that they think that is better. They, or, it's like they they did the 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 manipulation, yeah. but with in, with bad intentions. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, we don't we don't have cleared that part, maybe. So yeah, in in this case, if this if that is the scenario, yeah, as a manager, I fire all of them. Yeah, yeah, we'll get yeah fire because them. I mean, when you tamper with something, you are trying to cause damage mm -hmm. to alter. Okay. And the impact is is huge. Yeah, of course. So fire, fire. All the employees that are involved in the case. Okay, number two. A new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flaw which makes it better. Um, I think that with the second crisis, Maybe the best option is um, sorry, teacher, eh, retirar como el producto. Recall. Recall. Recall the product. Recall the product and make 
and paid to the customers that already buy this laptop? Yeah, try to communicate that it was a, a mistake and then provide them a compensation about the mistake. Uh -huh. Or refund, it's the correct way, Re teacher, Re to say. Re refund the, the, the money to all that to all that customers that already buy the laptop. So recall already bought. Already bought, sorry. So maybe first of all recall all the, the products that still are that are still on the on the mar on the market. Mm -hmm. And the last one a hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company facilities. So that's, it's a natural disaster. So it's um, out of your hands. So you only, um, you only um, can make a, uh, how do you say communicate in English? What? Communicate. Ah, communicate. Okay. Make a communicate uh, to uh, for your employees and wait for the natural disaster ends. Uh -huh. I think that I agree with you and put the plan for this situation. I think that different companies have a plan for a specific situation and maybe to the manager explain or communicate with the different employees to have the possibility to work for a little moment to try to attend. At uh, I receive a call or like this because if uh, because if you employees don't stay in uh, the same parts, uh, you stay around the country and you have the possibilities to distribute 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 the activities maybe to pass and the the situation. Yeah. Uh -huh. It depends on the company because some companies can work in, in, in the house, but for example, if uh, I work in a uh, manufacturing, so I can't work in my house. So uh -huh. you only have to wait uh, a uh, the, for example, that, that, that situation, a uh, disaster, natural disaster ends because uh, you can do anything in your, in your house. Maybe, maybe in that situation, every supervisor or every boss can talk with uh, their employees uh, to know about the situation of every employee and know if when the disaster ends, uh, how many employees can back to work? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. it uh, depends that the, the area or to that is a service or like this to depend mm -hmm. the action we to do most important for you employees to stay safe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I think that a lot of a lot of company uh, agree with you and send a communicate uh, in a social media or or a, a, the most important uh, clients for to the situation and you don't have an option. Mm -hmm. 
and you try them or uh, you give the best service or uh, and depends that the situation right they have a control for it. Yes, yeah, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ramon, I, I don't know. Are you there? Okay. Because we work around the world, and it's okay if you cannot uh, go Attend. to work. Exactly. You cannot and go to work, it will be paid as normal. And also they offer emergency lines in case you don't have food or you need assistance to evacuate, to go to another place, et cetera, et cetera. That is what they do. They offer, a, they give you a hand in that case. Yeah, true. Mm, true. I've seen that. Yeah, or, uh, or the... I remember in my last uh, job uh, when the fluorines were, uh, it was a time when, when there were fluorines. Okay, let's see, everybody's back. Okay, the first situation. Thank you very much. Somebody's reminding me. Thank you, Liana. Thanks, thanks, very thanks. Okay, second attendance, guys. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Aire Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Aireina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Thank you. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto.
Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Thank you, Steven. And Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, now. The first situation, dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering. Tampering is manipulating in order to damage, okay? Tampering with the products of the company. The video goes viral and customers are outraged. Outraged, let's see. Okay, what are you going to do facing this situation, Roxana? You as a manager, what would you do? Well, uh, in that case, uh, we're looking for the responsible. And if I found them, uh, I apply a AP before mm -hmm. they hire. And maybe I um, try to remove the video of the social media. Talking with um, the, I don't know, the, the manager of the page or something like that. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, let's see, what do you think about that? Exactly the same situation, Marcos. Number one. Hello, teacher. Um, can you repeat the situation, please? I hear something about and damage products. Yeah, dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the products of the company. The okay. video goes viral and customers are outraged. Okay, okay. Mm, perhaps through um, social media, uh, write a letter and explaining all the situation and the um, and saying in that letter that this employee has been removed from his from his job and okay, okay yeah and and that behavior is not allowed in our company and I give apologize to our client with for that Okay, perfect. Well done, thank you. Ana Claudia, what about you? What do you think of that situation? The same, the same with the first one? Uh, what? Yes, the first one, situation, right? Yep. Yes, I was in the same, we were working with Roxana too, and we were discussing that, and also uh, we think, we were discussing it's important to, a release uh, like uh, public communication in the social medias too, like uh, showing your uh, values and standards and your position about that situation. And being clear, transparent, and uh, showing your, como se sería, estoy buscando mostrar tu postura. Your position. Ah, your position. Ah, okay. Yeah. Showing their position as a company. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Now we got a second situation. Second situation goes like this. A new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flaw which makes its battery explode or catch fire while charging. Okay, what do you do in this situation, Danny? And um, okay. In the first, uh, the first step, I think, is um, remove all the product from the market, and then um, communicate 
with a H client and it, it depends if there are no rumors or um, or something like that in the social media and uh, I am not going to make a holding statement or something like that uh, because um, there are there is yeah uh, you want that you want to create yeah. about publicity yeah 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 and I I um, I will communicate with each client and um, I ask them for the to return the the, the product and and I will refund each client client. Okay, interesting. Now, what do you think about that, Suleyma? Second situation. Okay. Um, for me, um, the best option is in the first step, make a communicate for the consumers that probably uh, bought uh, the laptop and recall all the products in the stores and try to fix uh, the problem with the laptop because for me it's so important the security for the people or the consumers of my company. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now we got us the third situation, and the third situation goes like this. One of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer, but social media is reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a customer. Just give me a second, guys, please. I have a little thing. Okay, I'm back. The third situation, let's see, let's see. Oops. We say that one of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself again against an aggressive customer. Okay. What would you have done as a manager in that situation, Francisco? No? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, um, Osmin, what about you? Okay, so provide uh, a notice of, as an apologize for of the inconvenience that it caused. So, and also say that it will never happen again, because as you know, right? So if the, uh, if the employee so, and never did the, the bad situation, so like the, yeah, but the, remember that the employee had, was defending himself. Mm -hmm. The aggressive person was the customer. Yeah, that, yes, that's right. But actually, you know that the customer has the reason all the time. So all the customer are always right, right? So and as a manager and as a company, so we have to provide to, to the social media, to the, to the people, so that it will never happen. And also provide an apologize in order that I feel that the company is, so is like the, the best company in order to treat people in a good way. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, uh, Ileana, what do you think? What's your opinion? Same situation. Mm. 
in this case, maybe if I was the manager, uh, I try, maybe I, I try to, to clarify the situation. So I agree with that with us mean that, that the customer is always right, you know, but sometimes um, I think that, that when it's worth as a manager, maybe I, I, I try to, to clarify the situation, you know, uh, in social media. So maybe I do that, clarify the situation that, the, the, that was the opposite. Okay. Not and 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 yeah. uh, the 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 customer maybe yeah. feel feel mm, in this case it, it, it's it's difficult you know but because the is this word uh, that the the customer is always right but as a manager sometimes maybe uh, we have to to make the our best to 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 our to our employees too. So in this situation, maybe I try to clarify the situation always in social media, mm -hmm. through the social media. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, the last situation is very simple. A hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get the comp to the company facilities. Okay, what would you do in facing that situation, Heidi? Um, well, I'll try to... Poner en marcha, como se dice, teacher? I don't know. Give me this full sentence. Uh, I'll try to, uh, to start our continuity of business plan. Okay, yeah, continue as normal because the first phrase you say will be something like set in motion. In motion, okay. Set I... in motion means poner en marcha. Okay, then I'll try to set in motion the continuity of business plan. Okay, perfect. What about you, Irene? What would you do? Okay, in my my opinion, I think I'm going to say, going to tell them to or help them to go to the to the company. Like, for example, uh, bring them transport transportation okay. or That's maybe a good help them. Yes, help them to go to the company fast. Okay, fine. Interesting. Okay, guys, now you're going to be creative now. What are you going to do is quite simple. You will have to, uh, if you remember, we were having situations, situations about crisis, okay? You will create a situation and a solution, okay? But in this case, you are going to create, uh, depending on the members of your group, each member is going to present one situation and one solution, okay? So I'm going to send you to the groups. You will have, this is a long activity, so you will have 10 minutes to solve it. And when we come back, Danny, are you ready to present today? I get so. <laughs> okay, perfect. Then you are on as soon as we finish that activity. So let's see. Let me send you right now. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
and the situation can be related with well uh, for example one situation may be for a um, provider for example one provider uh, that um, Oh, you uh, one one easy. Uh, I I have one in mind. Um, for example, Depend, uh, the number depending on the number of the group. Yeah. Yep. We are four. We are we have four. to write like four situations. Okay, we are three. Oh, okay, we have to write three situations in this case. We are room. Three? Four. Four? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's start. Um... For example, imagine this in a supermarket. Um, um, the cashier blocks the, um, I don't know how you call it, work. What the... Uh -huh. The box. Uh -huh. Ah. Mm. Cashier. Is. The cashier. Cashier is like the mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the machine. Como yeah. la caja registradora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine that that machine is blocked. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Okay, my, imagine that, that that machine is blocked, and there are clients waiting for for uh, make their purchase their their foods and all stuff, and um, they try to pay uh, all the stuff that. And it's almost what, 10 p.m. and the supermarket is almost close to 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 close to close. <laughs> <Too close. laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, it's only the only machine open. What well, to we do in that case. Mm, maybe open another uh, doing is providing like uh, buildings or locations where people can move and there are some offices that they are like um, Untouchable, the saying that way. Like, uh, if you are working in an American embassy, you know that you cannot touch those uh, buildings, and they have their own uh, source of electricity. And the same with the internet. So, I will take that as an example of a crisis because without internet, you cannot work, you cannot communicate. You are not on top of what you are doing. And the way how the company is solving this situation is providing like um, the like a short in a short term uh, uh, resolution or providing a, a solution is that they are opening office uh, uh, opening those places for their people so they can go there and connect and, and work from there. Uh, that is, okay. I don't know what they are going to do in long term. I don't know because is there are some regions, for example, Islamabad is one and, and the other is Lakash, I don't remember the name, but there is like a civil war happening there and they are 
um, cutting off any type of communication to the rebel people. And the, and the so I don't know, if, I'm just thinking in, for me, if I'm a, I'm managing a big company, maybe I can think in a short-term solution, but what will happen if I have employees that they no longer will be able to get connected? It's, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable, that's the word. Uh, are we going to keep them or you must uh, fire them? So what to do, right? Okay. <laughs> you know, for like a short solution, but it's something. In fact, as far as I understand, in that part of the world, is like a must in order for you to apply for this job, to have or to get, to be connected to a, to a excellent network. So I will take that as, a, as a, an example. To resume, to resume, it was uh, a warrant, uh, a country in a war environment mm -hmm. uh, with cutting or with uh, communication uh, through the issues issues uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah yes that is a situation I don't know yours Or Roxanne, I don't know which one. Well, um, recently uh, we have a situation. Uh, maybe it was a crisis in the company because uh, we lost a lot of sales uh, because uh, the salesman tried to uh, get a new agent. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. Uh, we have two types of meet of uh, salesmen. The first one is an internal agent that uh, have a um, uh, salary mm -hmm. per month for per, per month. Per month. And, yeah, and the other is a uh, middleman that we don't have a, a payroll with them but we pay the commission wow. so it's totally different because the manager is the internal agent mm -hmm. and the external agent is uh, it's it's weird it's it's, person. yeah well the thing is that uh, when the internal agent try to sell um new policies but uh, we, but they sometimes sometimes they create a external agent. The crisis was when the when they don't have a answer about the department because we have a, a schedule, and well, in my case, I'm working from the I'm working with the hour of. Uh, Dominican Republic, but mm -hmm. I'm work from home, so sometimes I work more hours, mm -hmm. but they don't. The thing is that um, on Saturday, the other department that it cumplimiento, how do you say cumplimiento? Okay. Uh, they, no, well, they, they need to um, apply an uh, audit to the new external agent and on Saturday we received a lot of um, situation requirement about the about of create external agent but compliment the order department don't work 
doesn't work mm -hmm. on, on Saturday. So we can't give a solution for the external agent. So it was a crisis because we lost a lot of cells on Saturday and Sunday. And the thing is that the uh, internal agent always are working on the street and they need a solution very quickly about the new agents. So the solution in the situation is um, create uh, in the platform. Um, With answers or? Mm, no, the thing is that now they so they need to uh, up the information in the platform and this Okay, everybody's back. Now, let's see. Heidi, tell me one situation that could arise in your company and one solution. Uh, one situation can be an earthquake uh, in which uh, uh, the branch is not accessible. Okay, so, what would you do in uh, that situation? The, the solution is to activate the call tree and find out uh, the nearest branch we are going to, to attend. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, now your turn. Um, Alejandro, Alejandro Alfredo. Mm, a situation that may cause a institutional crisis could be as a bank, for example, a charge customers uh, for purchases that they haven't made or duplicate uh, the charges from purchase. Uh, and what will be the solution to this crisis will to uh, public an, a statement about the situation and that customers will be calm, that it will be fixed soon, as soon as possible, and that the company is working on, on a solution. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, Ana Claudia, your turn. Uh, well, uh, I was just uh, bringing out the yeah. situation that is happening in our company right now, that we have uh, different colleagues working from different cities around the world, but the ones located in Pakistan, in Lahore, they are having internet connectivity issues, but it's not because of the technology, it's because there is like a civil war happening in the uh, uh, geographic area. And the in one of the weapons the rebels are using is uh, cutting off the communication through the internet. So it's so unestablished. And there are- uh, Unstable. Unstable, I'm sorry. And there are some sons that they literally lost the internet connection. So what the company 
is doing in cities like Lahore is opening the doors uh, of some offices for a, another American companies. And they can go there and get connected and work from there. But it's like a um, short term solution because I don't know if it, they will be they will be looking for another solution. So that is a crisis because uh, without the internet, you cannot work from home. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see, next. Uh, Irene. Okay. Um, uh, okay, in our okay, we have an employee who support an important position in the company, got a medical exam COVID-19 positive. In this, this employee is, this employee make, makes a salary payroll. In this day, the company needs pay the salary for all employees. What's going to do? In this situation, um, the human resources manager, according with him, make uh, that he work from home and make all the activities needs to to have a report and payroll done for pay all the employees in this day. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Fernando? I guess it's still not available. Ada, in your case, what could be a crisis in your company? Is, uh, for example, teacher is, is frequently the place arrived, <laughs> arrived and the solution is uh, sit the employees, the involved, and make them see that uh, if they continue to be late, uh, fears are not, or worry, uh, will maybe to the file, and the three uh, not, I will be the send a discount. If uh, the employees is persist, they will de be fired. It's frequent. Okay. It's, it's Late very, arrivals very... is a problem. Wow. Yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, let me see. Who's going to present tonight? Danny, right? Yeah. Okay. And is a is allowed to share. Let me check. Oh, I, I I see yes. the option. But... <laughs> yes. Click on it again, okay. please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me share them. And it's a very common topic. <laughs> and the topic is um, learning a language through music. And in general, the language, I think. Um, well, um, can you learn a language through music? Of course you can. From the slow, crooning love song to the latest, to the latest, by boy band hits. Music is a really useful tool for lingua, language learning. Pop music is in the whole story. So any style 
any style of music by any artist as long as it has lyric can be useful in a language learning. You just need to approach it, it's right, it, it approach it the right way and make sure you choose music you enjoy. Uh, let's look at how you can go about learning a language through music. Um, I'm sorry. And let me let me move that. Um, learning a language through music transform studying into fun. The most important part of learning a language is talking with the native speakers. The second most important part, self-study. Songs are great for self -study, for self-study because they make your study session fun. Having fun while you're study is a really effective way to learn. So drop your dictionary and turn up the boom books. Or since you probably don't have a boom box, plug into the smartphone to some external speakers and cranking up. <laughs> and how song help you uh, learn a language? Learning song is your target language. In, uh, in your target language is an incredible useful tool for your language goals because Music is sticky. Ever had a song stuck in your head? Who hasn't? Music sticks in your brain, which is why songs are often often used in language in language classes to help students memorize new words. Most people who enjoy music listen to their favorite song over and over until they know them by heart. This repetition, this repeti repetition, repetition, <laughs> repetition, so repetition accompanied by a catchy tune is the perfect formula for getting new words and phrases that stuck in your brain so you can get rid of them. No grammar charts required. Um, music is, port is portable. It's Music is portable. You can take music with you to listen to anywhere, online, textbook, movies, or conversation partners. Keep a playlist handy in your phone to listen to your favorite song in your target language anytime you have a few minutes free. Be sure to listen actively. Pay attention to the words, pronunciation, and cadence for maximum benefit. And singing songs improve your pronunciation. The joy of singing alone to songs you love makes it easier to you pick up correct pronunciation. Songs ly lyrics help you learn vocabulary, vocabulary in context. Learning how vocab vocabulary is used to in sentences is a key part of learning how we speak a language in the real world. You can't learn, learn isolated words in your target language and expect to get fluent. Um, learning song in your target language gives you something that no vocabulary list can, a context for words. You get to hear how words are used in real life. When you learn complete sentences uh, and along with their English translation, um, you're learning how to complete, how to complete, how to use complex how grammar use. without, how to use complex grammar without the need to memorize all the rules behind it. This means that you'll be understanding and speaking your target language more like native speaker in native. less time, native native speaker in less time that you would with some other study method. Inspired to try it yourself? Here are some hints for how to get the most out of using music, music for your language learning. I'm sorry. Pick songs um, you enjoy. Find songs that you love and you'll take the most, the almost all the effort out of learning those songs. 
uh, you want to listen up then and repeat and you want to learn the words so you can sing along. Uh, this can be true even if the song is in your target language. I've met several people who learned the words to the French song Magic in the Air, even though they don't speak any French at all, just because they enjoy the song so much. And how can you find songs that you like? Easy. You probably already know and uh, what kind of music you like in your native language. You can use an app like Spotify, Pandora, or something like that, uh, YouTube, <laughs> uh, to search uh, for music for of same genre, uh, but in your target language. Uh, check YouTube um, as well to see if you if there are may, any songs video that display the lyrics for you uh, to follow along. Um, get the Spanish translation and the original language lyrics. Uh, no matter what your level is, you should definitely uh, get your hands on the lyrics and the song's original language. Trust me, uh, you don't want to try to learn all the words to the song without the reference. If you hear the wrong thing, it will be told to unlearn those incorrect lyrics in the future. Listen to the song while following along with the lyrics. I prefer to follow along with the original and the Spanish lyrics side by side at first. For those first few listens, you're not really uh, gaining a lot of vocabulary in your target language. What you are doing is getting an ear for the song, um, for the sounds of the song by listening to the words and sounding them and them out as you read by original, the original li lyrics and learning what the song is about by reading the Spanish lyrics. And then um, break the song into the chunks Learning also a whole song can, can feel overwhelming, um, especially if most of the words um, in the song are new for you. There's no need to force yourself to learn to whole thing in, in, in one chunk. Break it up into verses, lines, or even words. Um, the chorus is a good place to start. It's repeated uh, often throughout the song. And usually, uh, uh, and usually has the catchiest tone. Pause and rewind as often as it takes until you're, you're comfort, com comfortable with one section of the song. Only then she'll move into the next. When you move on to the next section, don't just forget about the previous section. Start the song over um, over again, I listen to everything, and you you've really learned learned up until the new section. You reinforce the the lyrics that way, as well uh, as have a better idea of how song flows from the one line to the next. And finally, uh, don't just listen, sing. The best way to learn a language is to speak it. Um, the best way to learn a song is to sing it. Chances are you'll get hooked on learning a language through music and it will become a regular part of your study routine, a part which barely feels like study, studying at all. And that's it. Okay, well, interesting. I wonder if you want to be so very kind as to share your presentation with me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, guys. The last activity of the night, uh, I'll send you again to work in small groups. And we are talking again the same the same topic, okay? But now the situation is this. Look, 
I'll send you with two questions. And the question goes like this. What elements would you include in a crisis management plan? How can you make sure the plan is going to work in case a difficult situation arises? Those questions are in your manual in page number um, 30, exercise one. It's part of the section, let's start, okay? So you will have four minutes for this activity. Let's do it, come on. But at least no one was done. What elements will you include in a crisis man management plan? What elements? Mm. Element. Mm -hmm. Maybe. For example, the CNA, um safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For an incident, for a disaster, natural disaster. Um, having a um, kit, first aid kit. Um, what else? Um. Drills? What about drills? What is drills, teacher? What is the meaning of drills? Hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to do drills, uh, simulacros. Oh, okay. Like uh, maybe if the crisis is, yeah, depending on the crisis. Scenarios. Yeah, I mean, if the scenario of the crisis is like an earthquake or a natural disaster or a fire, I mean, you need to have installing people the procedures to follow. Oh, that would be something. Have clear procedures. And maybe create like a team. Okay, perfect. And prepare, prepare yeah. and, and that team with all the knowledge and the, the, the and resources and resources uh -huh. mm, maybe also mm, mm -hmm. um in the company you, you, you will make the or handle the situation I what? You have a, when you have a group a specific group to attend the crisis natural crisis in the building oh example. natural disaster all right, if you're talking about natural disaster, remember you need a first aid kit, you need to select uh, safe areas, you need to practice drills. Drills are very important. Uh, simulacros. Right? Simulacro, okay. Drills are pretty important. And... But you need to create a group to leader. To yeah, yeah. 
you need to have a clear plan for those people to, to, to apply, uh, bring them the resources, enough resources to handle the situation and yes. training. Like the best uh, pitos, how do you say pitos? Whistles. Silbatos. Whistles. Yeah, whistles. Yeah. Whistles, uh, helmets, helmets if gloves, and trainings in like uh, uh, how to deal with a fire, for example, how to work with a fire extinguisher. Remember that that's different according to the extinguisher. I mean, not all of them are the same and the way you handle them is different. Hello, guys. Hi. I'm yes. Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. We are like, uh, oh, my God. Don't worry. I, a few minutes ago, I was like this. Like, <laughs> like trying to hold my eyes open. Yeah, I was telling Roxana, for me, it's been three weeks without stopping, not even Sundays. Mm. Believe me, I feel a little bit tired. Or just can imagine. But just a little bit, a tiny bit. <laughs> Almost nothing. So Heidi, a heavy week, this one, right? Heidi. I guess Heidi is busy. We're just waiting for everybody to come back in a few seconds to get the final attendance and I will let you go to rest. Okie dokie, guys, the time has come for you to have, for we to have the final attendance and for me to let you go to rest. Okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi sure. Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Hey guys, a pleasure.
Nice class. Tomorrow we are going to have a lot of conversation, so be ready for that. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. care. Good night, everybody. 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 Oh, I was supposed to stay tonight. Two things.
one, the time has gone. It's time. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.